Good uh, morning, guys. I just saw school bus. It's a sign. You guys should go to school now. Ready for school? No. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We're just getting ready to go down to the barn. You better bet your buttons that everybody was ready. Who was the first one downstairs this morning? Me. Because I had to feed Who them. was the first one ready to go this morning? Me. Gabby. Gabby, are you still sleeping? Mm -hmm. In your head? Yeah. Sophie's wide awake. Where's Daisy's that? wide awake. So if you're wondering why this dirty old boot shelf that we use for boots is sitting in the house, that's my plan for today. I plan to clean it all up and buy some new buckets and fill them with the toys for my grandkids. That's the plan. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Hey. Good morning, sweetness. Good morning. So today is a stay home day. That is exciting for me. Okay, there you go. There you go. Today is Tuesday and Sophie wants to go to our sales barn. If you're new to the channel, then you might not understand what our sales barn is. Our sales barn is a place that you go and you can buy farm animals. It's really fun. There's an auction and usually pre-COVID times, there is a small animal market in front of the building. The past is where we bought chickens and bunnies and every other animal you can imagine, except for reptiles. So, Sophie wants to go there. It's always been a place of joy for us, a place of learning, a place of sorrow sometimes when we see horses there. Um, but I think because of COVID that it's not actually open. Like I think the market outside is not open. I don't think there's any sellers selling small animals. Uh, we could drive by and see, but yeah. So we might go, I don't know, we're gonna see. My friends is how you tire out a puppy. Do you guys remember when we first moved to this barn and we took such pleasure in letting our horses out? And it was so fun. I still take pleasure in it, watching them come through that door. Oh my goodness. Apparently you rolled last night when your dad let you in. When dad let you in and he didn't rub you. Oh my goodness. Here. When I let them in at night, which I'm not complaining because I don't let them in at night. But when I do and I see them look like this, I brush them. So we'll be brushing you today. And in the video, I thought I saw a cut on her eye. I, uh oh, I think I see it. Let me just see your eye. You guys see it? Right there. I didn't see it till I saw the video. I don't know what you've been doing, Penny Pickle. I'm apparently having a good time. I'll be back to brush you, get you all fresh, okay? Oh, oh my goodness sake. What the heck happened? And this is where I heard the police. So this is where Sophie was standing. Are you sure it wasn't your footsteps? Well, I was in my cell, just it was just dark. So Sophie yesterday had to come down and do chores all by herself, and she heard footsteps and she heard a voice. What was the voice saying, Sophie? Sophie. Say it again. Sophie. Yeah, that's what she heard. <laughs> Have you ever heard a voice saying that before? Yeah, but it was my head. Yeah, you've heard it say, Gabby. It was my own voice though. Uh -huh. it was I have never heard somebody say, Laura. Yeah. Comment below. Have you ever heard a mysterious <laughs> voice She's calling your name when you're alone in the dark? So I just, oh. You didn't have to look at the person's feet. I just, I just saw the 
craziest thing on earth. We're getting ready to go in the house. And Gabby said, Molly, go pee. <laughs> Molly dropped to the ground and peed before she even finished saying pee. Like, that's trained. Well, it looked like she had to go. So yeah, but she trained her to do that. But it's just... And I know you can train dogs I to do that. I trained her to do that and she still can't walk away. The funny thing is how <laughs> fast she does it. That's the thing about Molly. She is so fast. Like, Molly, go. And she's peeing. Like, I wish I was trained that well. All right, so we got Daisy in the cross ties. Sophie, cross ties. <laughs> Sophie made cross ties for Daisy. We're getting ready to go out. But before we go, Sophie wants to show you guys what she learned to do, what Daisy learned to do. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what she learned to do. She learned to play dead. She just lays still. Oh, oh. All the way over. I still have to do this so she stops. Yeah, so she gets up. But watch this. What she? Oh, Gabby came. Yeah. Can your dog roll over? Do you have any new tricks to show them? No, nothing. Gabby's like, my trick trumps all the tricks. Show it again, Gabby. Come on. <laughs> that is the... She aims for my face. <laughs> so I actually just blindly catch. She is a blindly catcher. I need a new treat. She did it all by herself. Like... So I gave her a If you could have any of our dogs, any of our puppies, which puppy would you choose? And what was it? Molly. Yeah, I don't know. It was like... Macy won. It was like a lot. Daisy 15 and Molly 41. Molly 41 and Daisy 15. So most of you guys would choose Molly. And the reason why most oh of God. you said that you would choose Molly is because of how well behaved she is. But I believe that Ruby, I believe that Daisy would be just as well behaved and just as trained if she could hear. That's how smart she is. Who, Daisy? Mm hmm Molly could have... Mo if Molly was deaf, she'd still know the same things. I talk with my hands a lot. Mm hmm Okay, so we're just getting ready to go. Gabby sometimes brings food in the car. Let's look at what she brought with her, what she's eating. What are you eating, Gabby? Icing. Icing sugar? Homemade icing. Did you make that icing yourself? I'm still making it. Still making it, mixing it up. This is icing that she's making for a cake, but there's no cake. It's just icing. Gabby's been feeling the need for sugar. I'm bringing a backpack full of fidgets. What are you bringing? A backpack full of fidgets. Okay, so we're oh, here. So I just want to say before you guys watch, if you're new to the channel and you've never been here with us before, that it can seem overwhelming. You should know that this is a sales barn, meaning that all these farmers bring their livestock here. They bring goats and, and chickens and cows and horses sometimes. So uh, the conditions can seem alarming because it's a holding place. It, they, they're they here for like four hours at the most, I think, um, probably from around like 11 until the end of the auction. Uh, all these animals are auctioned off and they're, so they're all squished. So they're, they, sometimes they are squished into small pens depending on which farmer brings how many animals. So if one farmer brings like a bunch of goats then they'll all be like lumped together in one thing. It is not how I think that we should treat our livestock. I think we should love every animal and even if it's an animal that gives its and, life to us for food. Them all. Yeah, I think that we should still be treating them with kindness and making life right, let's go. Uh, comfortable for them not jamming them together but just know that it's only for a couple of hours it's a holding pen it's a sales barn and yeah we're gonna go and see what we can find all right i'm 
unfortunately it's pretty closed up we can't really see anything so if he wants to get a sheet so there's some sheep back there but they usually keep the goats back there that's what you really wanted to see okay. cows I like that brown cow over there and that is what you call it oh it's got a baby baby's eating it Aww. I like these pigs no, that's the one I like right there. Oh, I like that one too. Just wait till he pops up. So that was a disaster. We couldn't go down, couldn't see the animals. Normally when we go there, you guys have seen, we've been able to go in there and see the animals. Oh, look, look, look here. They're calling to us. They are. Are there any? Can't see any. We hear it. You see it? We hear it. Is it a baby? Looks like it. You guys see it? Aww. That's him. Can we get it? All by himself over there. You guys can't see him. Can we get it? No. Basically, it was just a disaster zone. Like, they're doing COVID rules, but it's an auction house, so... Which is great that they're doing COVID rules, but all the people are just all, like, cuddled together in there in big groups, and the spot that you're supposed to walk, all the people are just standing along the rail. So you can't walk anywhere, because you don't want to go six feet close to somebody, closer than six feet, so it's just, just a disaster, but we'll be back in the spring. It is cold today. Whoo! It is really cold. Tomorrow's supposed to be eight degrees. It's minus one right now. And if it's sunny, eight degrees will feel warm. If it's not sunny, eight degrees will feel not much better than this. But we're still doing our courts. Oh, you pooped in the arena. I clean it up every oh look at them. Look at how cute you look. Standing in a row. Don't try and bite me. We're still working on our course. We're getting really close to the end, I think. And then we're gonna be working on a new course, which is the trick training course. So the trick training course, I think you guys will really enjoy. Penny, you are dirty. You are so dirty. Don't even try it. You're dirty. Gabby, Sophie, don't stress them out. Don't stress out my pony. Have you guys noticed lately though that Penny actually is way nicer to the ponies? Like she's way more, she's definitely, her old owner told me that, whoa. Sophie, what are you doing? It was a bird. <laughs> there goes Penny. Her old owner told me that she's like a standoffish girl with her herd mates. But she actually, I feel like she's fallen in love with her ponies. It's like Penny and her ponies. <gasps> Hi. Boop. Good girl. Here's a treat. You be looking rough, Penny Pickle. Oh my goodness. So basically, in our course, we're at the stage right now where we're still just like working through all the ABCs, which I told you guys before, all the little things that we do with them. And then we're going to try and get them, we're gonna try something new today. We're gonna to try and get them to walk sideways over an object. So yeah, that's gonna be tricky. We'll probably have to work on that one for a while. And then, so that's what we're doing today. But like I said, soon we're gonna start the trick training. There's like eight or nine different tricks and some of them are pretty like crazy. That will be really fun and interesting to watch.
activities that we do, one horse will like prevail. My horse doesn't usually prevail, like be the best at it. But so watch, watch Willow. This is basically what we're gonna be getting our horses to do. Gabby's over there working hard at it too. Yeah. Because, so she knows that she's doing Keep going. Yes. I mean, this might not look like much, but imagine your pony walking sideways over some blocks. High five, Soph. Ooh, and Gracie will get there. Hey. <laughs> One thing your pony is really good at. Okay, so the second thing, so Willow nailed it. Oh no, I ran out of battery. Gracie is doing great. Here I get treats. Penny Pickle is being a pickle. The second thing we're supposed to do is get them to speed up. You know how we do that cheek hold or we get them to follow us? Come on, Gracie, like this. Gracie, come on. It's not this. I know. Come on, come on. So then you're meant to run and see if your horse will run with you. Yes. <laughs> I got ripped off. <laughs> I got the bad horse over there standing sulking in the corner. Good girl. Come on. Just wait. I'll put the camera down and see if I can do it. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Don't you know that you're beautiful?